Atheist Christopher Hitchens has died after a lengthy battle with cancer. He was 62. Mark Martin has more on this man known for his militant humanism. Vanity Fair announced the death of contributing editor Christopher Hitchens, calling him a d and a d The magazine reported Hitchens died from pneumonia, a complication of esophageal cancer. CBN's Lee Webb moderated a debate between Hitchens and Christian pastor and author Douglas Wilson on our Newswatch program several years ago. The debate became part of a documentary that Wilson produced called Collision. Is Christianity good for the world? Wilson spoke with CBN News about the death of Hitchens. My initial reaction was one of sadness, seeing someone go to meet their maker for all that we could see unprepared to do so. Hitchens is survived by his wife and three children. His younger brother Peter, who is one of Britain's most famous journalists and a former outspoken atheist, recently became a Christian. His newfound faith led to a very public literary debate with Christopher. In response to Christopher's book, God is Not Great, Peter wrote a book titled The Rage Against God, How Atheism Led Me to Faith. The Hitchens brothers grew up in a family with a Christian heritage. Peter suggested that Christopher spent so much time debating and attacking religion that he was actually a repressed seeker. Christopher, however, denied the claim, although he did appear to be unsettled in his position at the end of the collision documentary. I do believe it was actually a, a tender spot in his heart toward those who really did believe. Moderating that debate in our Washington studio was one of the most uh, challenging yet rewarding mm -hmm. things I've ever done in my broadcasting career. Yeah. Uh, really getting at the core of life's issues. Mm -hmm. What stuck out to all of us who on the crew and, and me included was how at peace Douglas Wilson was and what yeah. a man of joy he was versus, frankly, uh, Christopher mm -hmm. Hitchens was a cranky, impatient, uh, mm -hmm. and, and sad human being. Oh, wow. It was sad to, to, to see him go, as Doug Wilson said, uh, Wilson said unprepared. Let's hope that in his last moments, you never know.